My name is Muharrem Chobo. I am a rakia producer. Rakia is a, is a distillation of, of, of the fruit, distillation of, of the grape, distillation of the plums, distillation of the peaches, and, uh, and so on. It was easy to, to do rakia. I mean, but even now, a lot of uh, Albanian families, they, they have some grapes in the, in the garden. They, they do some rakia. So you just get the fruit, you have a small container, you crash it even by hand or by, by foot and you can do 10, 20 liters, 30 liters of rakia. As a family, you have quite a long tradition in uh, doing uh, wine and rakia. Uh, my grandfather used to do uh, this product before the communism, not here where we are now, but uh, some kilometers from here, down to Spirago Mountains. And when he has guests in his home, he used to divide the people. When he has some special guests, he said, these are people that we have to, to, to honor more, you know, and uh, used to, to, to offer wine. And uh, when the people are not so special, he used to offer rakia. During the communism time, my father moves from his village. He came here, where we are now, and built a small house, and we have a, a garden here around the house where my father always, after the state job, he always cultivate grape. And during the communism time, my father uh, used to do mostly raki. He used to drink, uh, let's say, during the celebration, even almost every day a glass. But also my father used to sell a little bit. That, let's say, it was forbidden, but we could do it, I mean, even the other, the other families. Everything, uh, the commerce should, should, should be made from, from the state, not for the private. I mean, it was something, of course, we were talking about uh, selling about 50 liters of rakia, not, uh, not hundreds of liters. No? During the, the, the communism time, as I told you, in Albania, we used to drink more, more rakia, the, even that we used to produce more, I mean, as Albania. For example, one of the important events in Albania, but I think almost everywhere, is the wedding. It was rakia and even beer. I always saw my father uh, in this place after the stage job, always he used to cultivate grape. We have grape uh, around the, uh, the house, up to the house, because the house, it was a terrace, not with a raft. In 91, when the communism fall, that we got this land, I was in Italy in that time, I was working and studying, and I sent some money and said, what are we going to do with this land? My grandmother, she was a very clever woman, she said, well, the grape, is something is a plant that is very generous. You can eat, you can do wine, you can do rakia, you, you, I mean, you can do a lot of things. The company, uh, let's say, started in, in the end of the 92. When the communism fall, the government distributed part of land and we got here around one hectare of land in 91. And in 92, 93, we planted one hectare of vineyards. In 98, we, we started doing the wine. But in the same time, we, we, do, we have done always some, some rakia. Rakia, it was, it was a, a drink that we used to accompany the food. In the morning, as you told, with the coffee, but even with the food. Uh, and uh, now it's changing. Uh, the, they say rakia is not the principal drink, I'll call it a drink that we, we have, but it's wine. And rakia is used now more as a digestive. If before we used to drink, let's say, uh, in ten, let's say in ten times, we used to drink seven or eight raki and two, ta uh, two times wine, now it is the uh, contrary. Uh, as uh, the Latin, they had the expression uh, that I don't know in English, but uh, it's, uh, it doesn't exist at tabula rasa. So it has always something that in uh, consent or in consent you, you have it inside. My name is Shafid Mejka, I'm 25 years old and I'm from Berati, a city in Albania. 
I work here at Comité as a waiter. We're trying here at Comité to bring as much raki as we can and try to save the tradition and also everyone try the good, the best raki in Tirana and not just in Tirana. <laughs> you know, I didn't think that there was like 25 or 30 different rakis and I learned it here. I mean, because not everyone, especially the young people, don't know that uh, much about raki. There are the older people that know about Raki and cares about the Raki a lot. The trend now that, okay, give me a check or a beer or a, that's why the young people don't try to get the, okay, give me a Raki because the perception is that only the old ones drink Raki. Usually the men uh, make the, produce the Raki, but if a woman decides she wants to produce it as well, okay, she can do it and she can also learn the dollar how to do it. It's starting the new generation also to start to drink raki now. Also because the opportunity as we have here in Komitedi that we are serving because before it wasn't the opportunity for young people to go in the center of the city and uh, find raki. Nowadays it's different. Everyone can have it like everyone. Not the like it's not divided anymore like the rich or the poor or like women or like men or like childs, everyone, even the childs can drink it if they want. Any occasion there, there is to celebrate, the first thing in the table is for sure the raki. Okay, also the wine, but the raki first one, maybe then the wine, if you prefer, prefer the wine. But the first one that never gets out of the table is the raki. My father told me about the raki and I also have been helping him make the raki, produce the raki. As, uh, just like his father told him and my father had help but his father. That's, that's how it works in Albania. All the tradition, how to produce raki, goes from one generation to another. That's why it never loses. I think it will continue for a long time. At my family used to produce blackberry raki. It's very hard to produce that because you have to pick the blackberries all with your hand. And uh, it's really hard, but it worth. My first experience with raki was uh, when I was like seven or eight and I was looking for water in the fridge and then I took the bottle and it was rakia so instead of water I took the rakia that was my first that I've tried it and then after that my father so okay you tried it now you're gonna help me produce it <laughs> and when you grow older then then you decide okay I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna I can't wait to do it myself if you get used to drink to to drink rakia or if you get used or something, it becomes part of you. I think it's important to keep the tradition because uh, it's in our culture, it's in our identity, who we are. Me roto este mi completo.